Hey guys, so in this video, we'll be building our own custom GPT in the chat GPT application, including setting up actions using Zapier. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. So in order to create custom GPTs, you'll need to be on a GPT plus subscription. So I'll link to a video now that I made going over the benefits of chat GPT plus. And once you have chat GPT plus, then you can follow along with this tutorial. So what we're gonna do is go here into explore and then we'll have access to this feature, create a GPT. So it allows you to create a customized version of chat GPT for a specific purpose. So I created one over here called MapletBot. So it's a sales rep that helps with navigating our website, mapletmedia.ca. So we'll create a new GPT in this video. So let's get started. So click create GPT. Okay, so this is their interface. You can just chat with the GPT directly. And then this side is the actual chatbot that you're developing. So what we want to do first is go to configure, and then we're going to name the GPT. So this bot specifically will be handling creating new blog posts and blog images for the for our website. So they're going to be like a marketing bot. So let's name the GPT. So let's say Maplet Marketer. So first we'll need to give it a description. This is like a, the persona of the chatbot. So we'll say you are a digital marketer for mapletmedia.ca. So that's the website. And you are in charge of generating of generating blog posts that will drive more traffic to our website. Okay, so this is a description and the instructions. So what does it have to do? You can really go into full detail in the instructions, but we'll just give it a basic outline. So again, we'll repeat the description. So we'll just copy this. You will create new blog posts and blog images and images relevant to the web design and SEO industry. And then conversation starters, create me a new blog post, create me a new blog image. This seems like a good task for this bot. And then uh, we can give it a image. Okay, great. So it created the, its own little icon here. So let's just keep it like that. And in terms of knowledge, so this is the data which the blog will use to generate new blog content. So I'll upload a document of all my prior blog posts on the website. And then that will help the bot with generating relevant content. Okay, so I generated this document, which contains 10 of my blog posts. So this should be good training data for the chatbot in order for it to have an idea of the posts that are already on the website and kind of the, the style of writing in which the chatbot should follow. So we'll upload this document to the custom GPT generator. Okay, so back over here, we're gonna upload the file. Okay, great, so now the blog content has been added. Okay, so we'll keep all the capabilities on. So web browsing, Dolly image generation, and code interpreter. And just so the bot has context over it, the blog pages, we'll add it in the instructions too. So we can out here, you can view the current blog posts here. So this will allow the bot to navigate to that link and interpret that data. Okay, and then the actions will create a new action after we finish configuring the bot. And additional settings yeah so we'll just keep that on by default and then make sure you hit save okay and then we'll just keep this to only me and click confirm okay great so now let's try to test out our bot so now we have our prompts down here at the bottom so create me a new blog post click that and there we go see it's it's saying based on knowledge source so it's pulling that data and seeing what's a relevant post so it's creating a new post called maximizing online visibility so this is a post that isn't on the blog yet. So it's not like a copy of a prior post. So it's able to create unique content. So this is just the outline which they created. So we can approve it and they'll create the full blog post. And let's just say, yes, proceed. Awesome. So now it's writing the full blog post. Okay, great. So it came up with the full blog post. And then we'll ask our prompt, can you generate a relevant blog image here we go so now it's using dolly to create a blog image okay great so this is a nice relevant image based on the article 
So next we're going to work on setting up actions. So we're going to use Zapier actions in order to create new blog posts on our WordPress website. So that'll create a new blog post from our Mapillet marketer bot. So I'll add a link in the description to this page. So it's just the Zapier actions documentations for ChatGPT. So what we need to do is just set up their getting started section. So we'll just copy this. Then over here in add actions, we'll just add in the URL and then click import. Okay, great. So this is working and then authentication, we can leave it by default and then we're just gonna click update. Okay, and then next I'll add another link which will take you to the Zapier action page and this is where we'll be able to create our own custom actions. So now we're gonna set up our action which is to create a new WordPress post for within our custom GPT. So click add new action. You can search through all the apps. So we'll just search for WordPress. Then over here, it says create post. Okay, and then we'll just need to connect to our WordPress account. I'll just sign in to my website. Okay, so here in my WordPress website, we're just gonna install the Zapier plugin. So we can install this and then activate. So go to connect WordPress account. Okay, and then it's just asking me to give my uh, website login. So I'll do that now. The account is connected. So for the post type, have the AI guess the value for the field. So yeah, so we'll just call this, yeah, what they had over there, WordPress keep disabled, and then we'll just click enable action. Okay, great. So now our create post action is complete. So now we can connect this to our GPT. So back here in the documentation, what we want to do is just copy these instructions, and then we're going to add it to our custom GPT. So copy this, and then back in our GPT, we're going to go back here into instructions, and then right underneath, we're going to paste that. Okay, we don't need these actions, so we can just erase that. And then we're going to replace this first action with our WordPress create post action. So that's what we called it. And then the confirmation link, we can get that from our Zapier page. So we'll click into this. And then we have our action up in the URL. So we'll just copy the URL and then replace it over here for the confirmation link. Okay, so this looks good. So let's just click update. Okay, so now let's just test this out again. So just create a new blog post. So if we see over here, it has a new ability to initiate the process of Zapier WordPress action. So that's awesome. So we can say, Please reply after the action is complete. Let's say, yeah, complete this blog post and create posts in WordPress. Okay, so we just need to sign in again. Okay, and then just click allow. Awesome, so we have been signed in via OAuth. Okay, so let's just say proceed. Okay, so now it's doing the action. Okay, so we just need to refresh the list of actions. So, okay, so back here in Zapier actions, let me just refresh the page. Okay, and then we can go back to our GPT and we can say this is done okay and then click allow again okay so we're still getting an error so let's just change this to the post type let's just name it to uh post okay okay and then let's go back and try our bot again so it's saying it's a bit too big so it can divide the blog post in shorter sections so let's just say yes okay so this is just an error on zapier's part so it gave an error message in the chat but if i check my wordpress backend the post is here so it did work it's just the confirmation message wasn't working properly if we check out the post what they did they added the title so the text is all here but it's only a limited amount so that's still an issue they even added an image so that's good and then if we view the permalink yeah so it's able to actually automate the process of adding blogs to your website as well. So this is working. It's just the issue with long form text at this moment, but I think this should be something that will be improved soon. So this concludes the end of the video. I hope you're able to set up your own custom GPT for your business. And if you're interested in AI consulting by me, then you can check out my website, mapletmedia.ca to get in contact with me and my team. Please like and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.